All right, so we're doing an NHL 2019-2020 jersey update. So probably this month, I'm probably going to do one again before the end or the beginning of the season in September. But the jerseys are starting to get leaked, and we're starting to find out more information on the third jerseys, new anniversary jerseys, and things of the sort. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. Let's take a look at some of these new leaked jerseys. So from good concepts to the bad, let's take a look at some of these rumored, and I'm just saying they're rumored, but more than likely they've been leaked. There is a very good possibility that these jerseys come to be, but you have a situation where they may not end up being the jersey we see. And the most glaring example to me was I got so excited last year when the New York Islanders had a fisherman jersey concept with the same logo that they had for the third jersey last year, that same just New York logo with the stick. And that was on a fisherman jersey. And I still have it saved on my phone. That is an unbelievable jersey. I would I would pay whatever to get that jersey. I would pay my first child to get that jersey. So, you know, unfortunately, they don't all come to pass. But based off of these three different designs, uh, I could say these are pretty likely um, at this point. So starting off, we have the Anaheim Ducks, who will be going back to this jersey. Now, they had a Reebok jersey of this exact jersey that I'm wearing. They're pretty much going to, based off of how it looked, pretty much the exact same jersey, just in an Adidas. I was hoping they would maybe try something a little different, maybe with the sleeves or the logo or just something. They, they didn't change anything based off of what I saw. So I think they even still have the patches with the duck. So it's basically going to be the same jersey as the one I have now. I was really looking forward to getting this jersey. I probably am going to pass if it's this exact jersey just in Adidas. Um, so that's the Anaheim Ducks. Obviously, last year's jersey, this is probably going to be a little bit of a disappointment once it really gets out to the general public. They may, they may be happy that they have orange again, but last year's jersey was, was such a gem. Um, Really unexpected, too. So looking at Buffalo, the Buffalo Sabres have, for celebrating their 50th anniversary this year, as well as the Vancouver Canucks, we see some changes, and they have the new patches, as well as a new away jersey, a white jersey with, like, gold striping along the sleeves and the weight around the waist. So Buffalo... Not overly creative, but I have to say I really like the jersey. And a lot of people from first reactions may not like it or didn't like it when they first saw it. But I think it's a really, really clean jersey. And we've seen teams do this in the past, right? We've seen the uh, uh, one that really stands out to me is the Philadelphia Flyers when they made the, the numbers golden on the back as well as a little golden outline around the Philadelphia logo. I believe the Los Angeles Kings did that as well that same year. And I think those are really clean jerseys. It can look really good if done correctly. I'm not sure how I love the gold on the sleeves, but we'll have to wait and see how it looks on the ice, right? At the end of the day, that's what really matters. You look at the Winnipeg Jets, that really weird word mark colored jersey that they had last year, that light blue. It really looked weird, you know, on that brick background that they have for all the jerseys. It looked really good on the ice. And then, ending things off, we don't have too much news on jerseys this month, but taking a look at the Boston Bruins, I'm not sure if you all saw it, but they had a leaked jersey. It was the same Winter Classic logo that we saw last year um, with the big B on the front. Well, most of them have a big B on the front. That's a little vague, but it's the same font as the one we saw in the Winter Classic. Except instead of having the really nice, you know, yellow and black stripes and stuff on the side, it is a completely black jersey and then a yellow and a white stripe on the sleeves. Not sure I feel about that. That almost looks like a pajama jersey. I wish they would have brought back the Winter Classic jersey just for another season, just so we had, you know, another look at it. But Fortunately, that doesn't seem like it's the case. Now, like I said earlier, these are concepts. They have not been released by the team. More than likely, these are, at the very least, finalists to be picked um, for the jerseys, 
for this coming season, but let me know what you guys think of the Anaheim Ducks, the Buffalo Sabres, and the Boston Bruins. Um, jersey, our possible jersey lineup for next season. So we have the Anaheim Ducks, and we're going to have a third, a new, alt a new alternate. The Buffalo Sabres, completely new, completely different with their white golden jersey. And then the Boston Bruins may be going back a little bit in time to a jersey that they had a pretty long time ago. Not something that I remember, and I'm really not a fan of it, but I'm sure people will be a fan of it. So let me know what you guys think of these jerseys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. Check out our Instagram as well, at Goal Line Hockey. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.